All right, so this video is going to be created because of uh, the number of requests that I've gotten on this particular subject. And so I'll try to walk you through how to customize your software. Um, the beauty of ExoCAD being open, open architecture is that pretty much everything you see on, on the screen that's related to ExoCAD can be customized. Now, the problem with that is is a very deep rabbit hole. And so I'm not going to go through how to customize every single detail because it will be a, a 10 hour video probably. So I'm going to go with the basics, what people usually ask, which is, oh, I want to see my logo on, on the screen and I want to change the background of the design software. But again, just to be very thorough, you, you can change everything that you see on screen. The color of the models, color of the teeth, color of everything can be changed. All right, so um, also, I just want to uh, put the disclosure out there. I'm not responsible if by making these changes you get confused somewhere and somehow you ruin the installation of, of, of your software. I'm going to show you how to avoid that. But if you don't follow the instructions, then I will not be held responsible for it. Okay, so we are going to go over how to change the the bottom logo here in the dental DV and then how to do that in the CAD app or the dental CAD app. All right, so in order to uh, make changes to customization here, we are going to go where our ExoCAD is installed, which should be at the root of C. And then if we're gonna make changes to the dental DV, then we'll make sure we go into that folder. If we're gonna make changes to the dental CAD app, then we go into that folder. All right, so right here we're going to change to change the logo. We will go into the dental DB and then go into the folder called icons. And we are going to look for this bottom logo XAML. Now, this is how it comes in as default. So, in order for us to get rid of it, all we have to do is we'll just name it something new. So, we'll just call it bottom logo 1 and that will make it so that this is not doesn't appear anymore okay so right now i won't be able to make the change because the, the software is open so what we're going to do in the meantime is bring in the logo that i want so um that will be this file for me that's called logo and i'm just going to drop it here okay and then i'm going to rename it as bottom logo with the capital b and capital l i want Called bottom logo one so that it lines up right next to the one that I want and again the, the point is to um, replace one file with the other so we'll rename this one whatever and we have to close the software here so we'll name this bottom logo two and then we'll name this just bottom logo okay and so every time you make a change you have to restart the software in order to see it again. So now I'll go ahead and launch uh, the dental DB once again. And now I have my logo down here. Okay, so that will be um, that'll be the way to do it. All right. So um, again, um, we can go over or th th there's a possibility of how to change. Uh, all the colors that we see here, but we'll, we'll stick to the to the basics. So then we'll just create a random order form here, whatever it's called, uh, just anything. And we'll just say antagonist. Okay, we'll save this case and then we'll launch the design software. Also, you have the access of changing the splash screen. So if you wanna create your own, you can as well. And I'll show you where to do that. Okay, so what I wanna show here is what the software looks like for me now. Yours probably has a purple background and it has a different logo down here. So the size of the PNG that's that's gonna go here, it's, it's to your liking. Best thing to do is just to create one, import it in and open in the software uh, to see what, what it looks like. All right, so in order to make the changes here, then we are going to go into where our ExoCAD is installed, but instead of going into the dental DB, we're gonna go into the dental CAD app. 
and we're going to go to the same place. Now, the only difference is that here, the file that we're looking for, instead of, be calling, uh, instead of being called bottom logo, it's going to be background image. Okay, and so I have the original that I actually got created here, named the same way, background image um, two, and then here's mine. That's all I have to do. Just drop that, that, that PNG there, and it has to be a PNG, by the way, and then we'll have this. Now, in order to change the colors, the, the first thing that I suggest one does is open a, um, a Chrome and go into, I just look for hexadecimal colors. And then you can go into any of these and then you just pick a color, any color that you like. And then you wanna copy this code here. Okay, so right now I have my software set up as black. It goes from black to gray, and I have the gray just so that it creates a light background so I can see my logo. And so in order to make those changes, we'll go into the Dental Cat app. We're going to into Colors, into Config, I'm sorry. And then we look here at Colors. And then as we open that back uh, that, that file, that colors XML we'll, we'll see here the colors that need to uh, where we need to input the information of those new colors now please please do the following whenever you open this file or before you open it create a copy of it just very simple just highlight it press ctrl C ctrl V and now you have a copy of the original and now you can make all the changes that you want here if you make a change that doesn't let the software start for whatever reason you you added I don't know maybe a space here that will throw the entire software off okay so in order to make sure you can get back to zero let's say just create a copy of the original and then if, if things go wrong you can just delete this file and just um, um, it, you can edit the, the the copy of the original okay so in my case I changed the, the the main cat window background color and it says here top I changed it to zero 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 or six zeros which is black and then uh, right here it tells you that if we had a, a bottom color then it would do a a uh, fade and I added a gray color and then that's it now just to ch just to show you how it will work I'm gonna change this to one 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 which I believe will be white now okay and so once I make that change, I you, sh you should go here to click and then save. I just I just press Control S and it saves it. And now I'm just going to reopen the software so that I can see the changes that I've implemented. We'll just give it a second. And so now actually instead of being uh, white is a very is a darker gray. All right, so then I believe actually the white is six Fs. I, I believe that that's what it is. And so we'll just we'll launch it one more time. <clears throat> and so that way you have the freedom of choosing here what color you want to see in the background. There it is. And then you can add it uh, to the XML in order to create that that fade. Um, effect and then if you are curious enough as you go down you can see different things that you can change here so for example um, the cut view bubble or, or the arrow in the cut view bubble as you're drawing your margin you can change the color of that you can change the color of the bubble um, you can and there's there's many other things you can change but for now, uh, in the colors uh, file, these are the options that you have. If you want to dig deeper, then you can go into the default colors file here, and then you will have the color of the gingerba. So right now, it's this color. So let's let's look for this color in this uh, website we're looking at. Um, so that's the color of the gingerba. As we as we design, 
So if we import a scan as a gingiva, it's gonna it's gonna look like that color. So if we want to make it more pink, we can go here and just copy this information and exchange it for what's here. And now that'll be the new color of of the gingiva scan, for example, and so on and so forth. So here's where you can change a lot of the colors of different things that are in the software. Again, my recommendation is that make as little changes as possible, just so you don't destroy the software and well, not destroy the software, but make a change that doesn't let the software run. Because uh, it's happened to me where I made a ton of changes and then I made a mistake somewhere and I cannot backtrack to uh, the point where the software could still run and then I lost all of that work that I did. So just make the changes that you absolutely need to make. And usually that tends to be adding your logo down here and then changing the background color from, uh, for example, black to gray to whatever the color that you want and adding the, the logo. And that's pretty much it. Um, as a reminder, if there's any videos you'd like me to create based on questions that you have about the software, please um, just write them up in the comments and I'll be glad to create those videos. Thank you.